We all know the symptoms, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, fever. You may even be surprised that this flu season has been considered mild compared to past seasons. But as Clayton Castle tells us, that shouldn't stop you from taking proper measures to prevent the spreading of influenza. Flu season is well underway in Minnesota and across the country. But while this season is mild compared to past seasons, you should still take measures of prevention, especially those who are most vulnerable to the virus. Influenza uh, covers the gamut of people that can be affected, but it is the youngest and oldest members of our society that are the most uh, severely impacted. Dr. Holcomb says that she has seen an uptick in younger children in the emergency room this year with the typical flu symptoms of runny nose, coughing, and fever. But there are a few other symptoms to watch for that could warrant a visit to the emergency room. So from a standpoint of the people that we want to see, obviously people that are having difficulty breathing, people that are showing signs of dehydration because nausea and vomiting and loss of appetite and desire for food and fluid can be important. Now doctors say you can prevent from getting the flu by washing your hands and covering your mouth and nose, but the best way to avoid getting the flu, they say, is to get your flu shot. Well, the best thing you can do is get your flu vaccine. It's not 100% perfect, but it's the best line of defense we have out there. And you get it not only for yourself, but also for those others in the community that may be more compromised. So we can get our flu vaccine to help prevent flu and maybe the very young and the very old. Flu season typically runs from October through May, but experts say it's never too late to get your flu shot. In Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Now, last flu season, 12 people were hospitalized in the Essentia Health Network, with 340 people testing positive for influenza. So far this season, nine people have been hospitalized, with 130 testing positive for influenza. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.